Hi there, my name is Corey Gaddy, Technical Solutions Consultant for TPM. For a 4-Minute Friday today, we're going to talk about road staking points. This is just one method for creating staking points at certain distance increments and at critical stations. Okay, so let's get into the software. So let's look at staking this road. Okay, We need to create a few points, a couple points along the center line potentially and then some offsets for three feet behind the curb to get our staking points in on this driveway. So if we look at our point creation tool, okay, all right, we can find where we can create points along an alignment. All right, we'll do measure along alignment and that allow us to put points at a certain distance along this alignment. So I'll go ahead and click here on the main icon now. It's going to ask me for the alignment. I go ahead and select that alignment. It's going to ask me what station do I want to start with my points. Okay, my alignment actually starts out here in this existing road, so I may or may not want to use that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start my points at station 50, okay, which is right here sort of at the entrance. All right, and then the end station will go ahead and go the entire way of the alignment stops right here at the entrance to the parking lot. Then it wants to know the offset. Okay, so I could go ahead and offset, you know, 12 feet for the lane, another three feet back the curb, okay, if I wanted to. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and put them down the center line of the road, so I'm just gonna have a zero for my offset. And now the interval. So this is where we can determine how far apart we want these points. And I'm just gonna do mine every 25 feet. I also ask for a point description. At this point, I could go ahead and do center line road or center line driveway, you know, whatever I wanted to call it. And now I want to another point elevation. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my points in, and then I'm just going to pull my elevation from the surface. So I'm going to leave that blank for now. All right. So it'll start putting a point in here. So it takes the first point. And then it's just going to uh, ask me for the description again. So I can keep that same description. And I'll just keep going. No elevation. And I'll just keep hitting enter as we go down the alignment and get points in every 25 feet. Okay, until I get to the end. All right. So I have a set of points in here. Okay. I have to give those points a style in this points group in order to actually see the information associated with those points. All right, so right now they're in my all points group. I'm going to properties of all points. All right, give it a style here for the label. Now you can see center line of the road. No elevation associated with it yet, just points with center line of the road. All right, now I can go ahead and pull the elevations from the surface. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on one point, select similar, and then I'll do elevations from surface. And I'll tell that I want the driveway surface. For this case, the driveway surface and the overall surface are the same. So I can pull from either one of those. All right, and then I'll just go ahead and hit all. Okay, so now all points end up with the elevation from that surface. It would also be typical to go ahead and label the geometry points along your alignment. All right. And there's a section here for at geometry points, and that's where we can go ahead and create our points for the geometry points of the alignment for staking. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the main icon here. It asks me for my alignment, so I'm going to click there. By default, it's going to start at the beginning of the alignment, so I'm not going to worry about that station. All right, the ending station is going to be in the, the alignment, so it's going to put a point there as well. For point description, like I said, it's going to start at the beginning of the alignment, so I'm just going to go ahead and put begin for my point. Description, no elevation there. Okay, then the next point is going to do is the midpoint of the first curve we come to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, center point for the curve, because so it's, it's going to actually put that radius point. All right, let's 
put radius point there. All right, so it's gonna do that one next, no elevation. Okay, and then the next point it's gonna do is the beginning of the curve. All right, so that's gonna be the point of curvature. So I'm gonna put a PC in for my description. No elevation. Then it's gonna do the midpoint of the actual curve itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and put midpoint in for the curve. Description, no elevation. The next thing it's gonna do is the end of the curve. So I'm going to put a PT in for the point of tangency. No elevation. And then the last thing it's gonna do, since we only have one curve on this one, is the end of the alignment. So I'm just gonna put in there. And then no elevation. All right. And that'll get us to the end of alignment. That's all I need. So we're good. Of course, you want to make sure your numbering system matches up with whatever your standards are for your company and your office. Okay, so make sure that if they want you to label curves ahead of the 25 foot stations or vice versa, make sure your numbering system is correct. So I'm just going to go ahead and select those additional geometry points I put in and go ahead and get elevations for those. So I'm just going to select similar for all of them. You know, not a big deal if I grab those 25 foot stations I did earlier. And then I'm going to do elevations from surface. Once again, my driveway surface works fine. Go ahead and hit OK. And then go ahead and hit Enter again for all the points I have selected. Okay. All right. So it's going to go ahead and grab the stations and elevations, particularly the elevations for those stations I put in. So now that I have the values for my stations in terms of my elevations here, I could go ahead and create my offsets as well. Okay. So we'll want to go station offset on my alignment. Click on the main icon. And I'll select my alignment. Okay. And then it's got to determine what station I want to start at. So I'm going to go ahead and have my snap zone. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start at this first point. Okay. My offset is going to be the width of the road. Maybe add in the curb and then the three foot offset. You know, I don't know if you're, depends on if you do face the curb, back the curb for your offset. Okay, so I gotta have 12 foot for my lane. Now there's six inches for my curb and then three foot on top of that. All right, so that'd be 12 and a half plus another three, so 15 and a half. Okay. Point description, you know, three foot offset. BC. Okay. I'm going to put center line in since that's actually going to represent the elevation of the center line of the road. All right, and then the point elevation, I can read that from my point I put in earlier, uh, 718.12. All right, and then I go down to the next station. It'll be the next point, 15 and a half, point description. All right, it's going to be three foot. BC or offset BC and center line. Okay. And a point elevation once again. I'll look at the elevation there for that previous point and then just keep going. And I can do this all the way down my alignment. So in this example, I did the staking of the center line on the road, but you can follow the same workflow for the curb, whatever it was that you're trying to stake along the road. Well that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching.